Hey everybody, PA Cheapskate taking some video. This is actually being shot inside. It is raining so hard I am actually not outside, but I am have the tent set up right outside this window. This is my new Alps Mountaineering supposedly extreme tent. Um, well, it's got extreme in the name, so I figure let's give it some extreme weather and see how it's doing. It is absolutely pouring out there. It is roaring down, just coming down like crazy. So, and as you can see, the water is just shedding off there like a champ. So, it certainly looks from the outside like it's doing real well in really quite adverse conditions. We'll just have to see how it goes, but uh, early signs are good. So, here is the next day. This tent has really actually taken a thumping. It poured yesterday afternoon. It poured pretty much on and off all night. It poured again this morning. We're now early afternoon. There seems to be a little break before it pours again. So I thought I would come out here quickly. Do a little external video. I just went inside the tent. It's absolutely bone dry inside. Um, the fact that it has these huge vestibules all the way around, um, not a drop of water on the in internal tent, not a thing. Um, I also, you know, I wouldn't say this went through a hurricane last night, but there were some winds and I did take a look at it through the window uh, to see how well it was handling the heavier wind. It really had no problems. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up and we'll shoot another video hopefully with the benefit of some nicer weather when I'll be able to take off the rain fly show you the features of this tent and so forth. But I did this a little out of order. We're gonna first see that in fact, this tent is pretty bomber, which is you know what it, what it claims to be. And I'll show you the features and so forth uh, in the next clip. Hey everybody, Opinionated Cheapskate, coming at you with some reactions and impressions of my Alps Mountaineering Extreme 2 tent. This tent I bought because I'm about to be doing some camping later this fall. Um, actually out in the Rockies um, at some higher elevations where I expect to encounter both colder temperatures and some higher winds than would normally prevail here on the East Coast. And so this tent I think is really designed for that kind of camping. But of course all tents sort of regardless of how they're designed I want to try them out in my backyard first make sure that there are no sort of obvious glaring faults or problems because the time to figure out but there's something wrong with your tent is when you're six steps from your house and your warm bed as opposed to eight miles down the trailhead. So this thing got, frankly, uh, the usual test and then some. I set this up actually about four or five days ago, um, and it's done nothing but rain for the last four or five days. This thing has just been pounded with rain on and off pretty much for about four days. Normally I would test the tent for a day or two and say, all right, that's good enough. This thing has gotten rained on for the better part of a week and I can report that it is absolutely bone dry inside. Um, no issues whatsoever with any kind of water getting into this tent. This is exactly what I was looking for in terms of a you know pretty beefy burly tent ready to take on a little bit more in terms of harder conditions. Also I deliberately set this up back here and there's actually a little depression under there where when it pours a lot rain tends to puddle. I did that on purpose to see whether the the bathtub floor would hold up and it, it did absolutely fine. So no issues with the rain performance of this tent. So I did try to sleep in this tent and ultimately um, figured out that my shoulder season tent is not the most awesome tent to camp in uh, on a muggy warm July evening when it was uh, in the high 60s and it's pouring rain because you can see there is these these two doors there's one on each side and each of them have this very large mesh screen i've got the mesh pulled back but but you can see the size and these doors being open i think it's pretty critical to having the the tent breathe properly in warmer weather so when it's pouring and you have to button up these uh, uh these huge vestibules on either side completely it gets a little stuffy in there um i would not really want to be camping in this in the rain in warm weather. Um, I would only want to use this in warm weather in drier conditions. But of course that's not what I bought the tent for. I bought it for 
uh, what it's really designed to do, which is, you know, cooler temperatures, uh, more wind, that kind of thing. And there, I think, actually, the thing that's kind of a drawback in the middle of July is actually a huge benefit because I think um, this tent does have sufficient mesh, mesh venting that it will breathe reasonably well. But I also think it's buttoned down enough that if you really close everything up, if you close up, you know, not only the the exterior door, but also this interior door, which is currently tied back, um, you're going to find that the temperature inside of this tent is noticeably warmer than the ambient temperature outside. And so when it's 40 or 50 degrees outside and the wind is blowing, uh, you're going to be pretty happy you're in this tent. So, next question, you know, all these two-person tents are really one-person tents, right? So, can you put two people in this tent? Uh, here is a full-size, I'm a big guy, it's a big, big, long sleeping bag, and that's clearly more of a car camping bag, it's not a mummy bag, and it takes up, you know, a little more than half. So, I would say if you are two small people, or one normal sized person and a child, this would probably be fine. If you have two big people, particularly if you are going to be in this for a number of nights, uh, I would say move up to the three person version of this. You'll probably be a lot more comfortable. Um, so, you know, I like it overall. I think it's, I think it's a well built, built tent. I like the zippers. I like the mesh. It is very burly and very Waterproof. I'm going to take off the rain fly here in a second and shoot a little bit more video and I'll show you the structure of it and explain why it is that uh, this thing is really set up to take the rain and the wind better than a lot of tents out there. But before I do that one last exterior view here, and this is actually from a good distance away, this is what the tent looks like. You'll see that that I don't think I think that design is actually on purpose with the narrow sort of almost like prow of a ship front end, um, and then uh, it's sort of spreading out as you go further. Um, I think that's designed specifically for um, extra resistance to higher winds. The idea is it'll sort of cut through the wind as long as you point one of the narrow ends towards the towards the wind, um, and you know that creates some oddness in terms of the. The shape of the interior where it's the most wide at the middle rather than sort of a more of a square shape it's almost sort of diamond shaped um, which you know requires particularly if you have two people in here you may want to be sort of you know folding your body into sort of the fetal position if you sleep you'll be probably more comfortable that way um, and the idea I think is you end up lying head to toe which you know, is what it is. Not that big of a deal for, particularly for a short trip. So, all right, let me shut this off and uh, take off the fly, and we'll shoot some more video. All right, so here we are back again. This is the interior. That water is me spilling water from the rainfly on that. That was actually perfectly dry. Same with that. That was perfectly dry before I took the rainfly off. So, um, here you can see the structure of this a lot better. Notice that instead of sort of two poles with a single cross top, which is the way a lot, of t a lot of tents are set up, this one has three, and you have one, two, three, four places where the poles intersect within the body of the tent. And that provides, I think, a lot more structural rigidity than you would get out of a two-pole tent. Now, of course, that makes the tent a little heavier. This is not a tent that you're going to be super excited about back and packing with if you're a solo camper but if you have conditions that are going to warrant this kind of tent in your future um i think it's a pretty good choice it's a pretty cost effective choice too um you know i mean a lot of people i'm certainly one of them tend to camp more in fair weather than in lousy weather um and so perhaps it's better to get something like this that's maybe a little bit heavier than some of the other, you know, shoulder season, three to four season tents. Um, but, uh, but so you save a bunch of money doing that. So anyway, so overall, this tent is indeed quite bomber. It is very well designed and put together for uh, rougher weather. You could conceivably put two people in it. 
Um, it is a little heavy, um, but overall nicely made. Uh, good job, Alps Mountaineering. Hopefully that's helpful to all of you. Have a good one.